To be a chaplain is to be an advocate for every soldier's First Amendment rights for the free exercise of religion. It's to bring the soldiers to God and bring God to the soldiers. We are the ones that the Army has tasked to care for the souls of the soldiers. When you make a decision to be a chaplain, then the Minister of Presence is always on top, top the list. Why? Because you're always there for soldiers. First of all, to bring God to soldiers and soldiers to God at all times. So nobody stops eating. Uh, the Army, we have a very diverse chaplain corps of all different uh, faith groups. So as I say, we perform and provide for everybody, so we're able to perform for our own faith groups and provide for everybody else. And having a chaplain corps with people with so many different backgrounds enables us to do that uh, at the highest level. Every soldier, regardless of faith, regardless of background, regardless of practice, should be free to participate in any faith group they want or not participate in any faith group that they want. And chaplains are here as a uh, stalwart protection to that First Amendment right. Uh, the chaplain is just not only there for, is not only there for the spiritual, but also for moral, religious, ethical. You know, so, um, you know, just imagine what happens if a soldier has no support um, in, in regards to the no guidance, no leadership in regards to religion, spirituality, moral, ethics, and general counseling to be ready for the mission. So that's why the chaplain should be available. Availability is fundamental. And that is what we explore in a Minister of Presence. We talk a lot about freedom in the United States, and it's something very close to us in our hearts as Americans is, uh, is freedom. But a large part of that freedom, the, the First Amendment, of course, is our ability and our freedom to practice our individual religions. So the Chaplain Corps really has a unique opportunity to help soldiers to live out the same freedoms that they're sworn to protect. George Washington, the first, the first branch that was created was the infantry. You need soldiers, boots on the ground, if you've got an army. If you don't have soldiers, you don't have an army. But the second thing, the second group that George Washington wanted was he wanted chaplains to care for the souls of those soldiers. The legacy of the Chaplain Corps is that we are defending the values and the, the real impetus behind the founding of this country to begin with. Um, before America existed, uh, we were just a colony of, of Great Britain, but we said in the Declaration of Independence that we wanted a separate equal station, which the laws of nature and nature's God provides. Uh, further, it goes on to say that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain, un means undoubtable and unalienable rights. Though our rights aren't given to us by a nation. Our rights are given to us by God and they're unalienable not able to be taken away, and there are certain undoubtable truths of human existence. The Chaplain Corps is here to help remind people